Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode 139. I'm pretty sure. I always forget. Ignore the stuff behind me. It's not trash. It is donation stuff. <laughs> I went through uh, a lot of stuff yesterday. And uh, you can't see it, but it wraps around there. There's like, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of toys and clothes and things like that. That is leaving tomorrow. So uh, just ignore it. Just pretend it's not there. But it actually goes good with uh, something I got to share with you guys today. But I got uh, four finished objects and I don't have any active whips that I've been working on. I am, you know, I still have my scrap blanket, but I haven't worked on it. <laughs> I just haven't picked it up. But uh, yeah, I wanted to record this real quick because I'm leaving here in a little bit. To, uh, I got to run some errands and stuff today. So uh, I wanted to record this and get it out before I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, and I do have some happy mail. I'll probably record that maybe tomorrow. Because I got to go to the post office today to pick up another package that's there. And then I'll share it all together. That's the plan. <laughs> but yeah, so I do have um, four finished objects to share with you. And the first one is the big one. And it's my second Everyday Cardigan by Sorella. And it's a free... Uh, pattern on her website. I think she does sell the PDF also, but you can just get it for free on her website, which will be linked below. I'm gonna show it to you, show it to you like here, and then I did take a little clip earlier of me um, showing you it like fully. But I did use the uh, Mandela Ombre cakes in the colorway Happy. There it all is. <laughs> Been wearing it like crazy. My first one's actually right here on the back of the couch. <laughs> I wear both of them a lot. Just when I'm chilly and all that. And I wore this out of the house. Um, Wednesday. And I got a compliment on it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And it's here. I said the yarn. It's Mandela Ombre. Uh, the color is called Happy. I think each cake is 344 yards. I think is what it is. It's a size 4. And I used a K hook. Except for on the cuffs of the sleeves. I did go down to an H hook because I wanted it to be snugger. My uh, gold one. Let me see if I can find a slip on it. Where are the sleeves? <laughs> uh, I just used K hooks. Let's see how much wider that is than this one. It's like a lot wider. I wanted it to be snugger, so that's what I did with this one. And I like it a lot if it's perfectly. Uh, I used four full cakes and about half of the fifth one. And all together, that's around, I think, 14 or 1500 yards. Which is about what this one is. This one is made with um, all of this yarn, Sun Gold, which is also number four worsted. And uh, I used, I can't remember how many skeins. It's on my Ravelry page for it, but it's about the same amount of yardage. Uh, so when I made that one, I knew approximately how much this one would make because it's the same pattern, same sizing, and all that. So uh, yeah, I made the extra large version. She has, I think, from small. All the way up to 3XL or 4XL in the sizing. And it's a pretty basic pattern, so you can make it really any size, I think, if you wanted to. And you can even make it longer. I love how the length of these, because <laughs> they cover up my butt. And, then you know, that's just more comfortable for me when I'm, like, out in public. I don't want, like, my butt hanging out <laughs> everywhere. Because, uh, you know, women's jeans don't always fit the whole entire butt the way it's supposed to. Because, you know, companies don't realize women's bodies are different. <laughs> but um, I'm always afraid that, you know... I might pop out a little bit. <laughs> so it's always good to have a shirt or a sweater that goes over that. Yeah. <laughs> so I love this. I've been wearing the heck out of this one. It is beautiful. It is warming up here, but it's still chilly. Like today it's 68 here in the house, so I've been wearing this uh, while I'm not doing anything that makes me hotter and sweatier. <laughs> but yeah, I love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. I think I did really good on the seams. I didn't color control at all. And then the, uh, the sleeve... This is the sleeve and this is the back. I think I did good on all the seams. I'm proud of myself. I did the uh, the like button band and the hemline band. I just let the yarn do whatever it wanted to do. I do love how it came out because it's just so pretty. Like a lot of the colors all together. Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. So it is a free pattern by Sorella and it is on her website. I'm pretty sure you can purchase the PDF on Etsy and maybe on Ravelry also. Hair on it. <laughs> but yeah, I love it, love it, love it. Uh, they don't take long at all to make. They work up really quickly. I don't know, I just love it a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so that was my first finished object. 
my next finished object has to do with these bags back here. <laughs> Those are donation items. But um, this is a pattern that again, you can you get it for free on the website or you can buy the PDF from Olive at stringydingding.com. And uh, she used to have a YouTube channel, but she doesn't anymore, but hopefully she'll get one in the future. <laughs> but anyways, she put this pattern out um, a few months ago. I can't remember exactly. It's been a little while. <laughs> and I immediately downloaded it because I'm a member of her, um, her membership. <laughs> and it's only $6 a month and you get all her new patterns when they come out. You get them like for free. And plus, um, she gives out coupon codes once a month to get past patterns that you maybe didn't, you know, if you haven't grabbed them. I'm pretty sure I have all her patterns now. So the coupon codes aren't really uh, useful to me because I have all her patterns, I'm pretty sure. But, um, and also there's a forum that you can go in there and chat with other people and it's just a lot of fun. I don't really chat on it because I'm, I'm more of a reader <laughs> instead of a participator. But I do read it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, she put this out and I just thought it was so cute. And I wanted to make it, so it's been on like the back burner for a while. But then I finally made it a couple days ago. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a little amigurumi trash bag, <laughs> or I guess a donation bag. I wish I had put made these little things red, cause see our garbage bags that we buy are red ties. I didn't think about that until my friend Phyllis mentioned that hers are a different color. I think she said they were yellow. I can't even remember now. <laughs> but um, I went ahead. You know, I was making it all in one setting, so I wasn't thinking about our garbage bags. But uh, after she said that, I was like, oh, I should have made ours red. But I could just make another one. And, you know, you can make it black like the outdoor bags. Or you can even make it orange because I've seen orange garbage bags, um, you know, like around Halloween. You could even make it with like a pumpkin face, you know, like the ones you fill up with leaves. <laughs> that would be so cute. But I think it's adorable. I don't know if I need a garbage bag amigurumi in my life, but he's cute and I love him. Uh, I wish I had some blush. I need to buy some blush so I could put little cheeks on amigurumis. But, um... Other than that, I think he's perfect. He's made two pieces. You start down here and you work all the way up. And then this little thing is like a strip that you tie in a, a knot and you sew it on there. And it's so cute. He's been living over there on the mantle. <laughs> and I just think he's adorable. I don't know why I love him so much, but I do. He's my little baby. Got safety eyes. And this is just um, some black yarn that I split in. You know, it's four ply, so I split it into two ply. And uh, use that to, as like embroidery floss. I think he's adorable. I stuffed him pretty good, but I didn't stuff him the same exact shape. But I mean, trash bags are all kinds of shapes. You can't like, they're not all similar. <laughs> but I think this is so cute. So this will be linked in the description too, if you want a trash bag. <laughs> I think this would be really cute. Um, well, I just like it sitting around, but also like if you knew someone who worked in the city, uh, waste disposal, I don't know what that's actually called. <laughs> waste management, um, it'd be a cute little gift for someone like that. But yeah, it's adorable. Okay, so I got two more amigurumis to share with you guys. All right, my next amigurumi is one I was showing in my What to Work on a Wednesday this past Wednesday. And it's a little St. Patrick's Day <laughs> decoration. I don't know if you can see them all. I got clovers hanging up, and back there in the hallway, you can see some more um, decorations. <laughs> I love decorating for every holiday. If you're new here, um, you'll see stuff for every holiday. As a matter of fact, on uh, March 18th, I'll pull all this down and my Easter and spring stuff will go up. And then that stuff will stay up until the end of May. The spring stuff, not the Easter stuff. Um, and then I'll put out uh, like Americana type stuff because of Memorial Day in the end of May. And then, then that stuff will stay up until July 5th. And then um, there's like a weird empty space between July 5th and September. Because September is when I decorate for Halloween. <laughs> So, I need some, like, summery-themed things to fill in that gap. <laughs> but, uh, I need to get some birthday stuff made, because then I could decorate, like, the weeks of our birthdays. Because mine and Jesse's is in the same week. His is May 1st, mine's May 7th, and Devin's is in August. At the end of August, actually, the 29th. So, it'd be fun to just have some cute... I know there's amigurumi cakes and stuff. I need to make some of those. Just to kind of decorate the living room, the weeks or months of our birthdays. It'd be fun. But, anyways... Back to St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I wanted some more things to put on. This We call this our mantle, even though it's not like a fireplace. It's just, we've always called it the mantle. So I do a lot of my decorating here. There's a little leprechaun right there I thrifted, and there's my chicken I made. And then I usually put garland or lights up here. And you can't see it good, but right there is an amigurumi clover I made back uh, before the new year as a good look token for the new year. And this was, uh, I it was gifted to me, but we also traded. I gave her a bunch of yarn that she needed for a project and she made this for me. And that's just a fake plant, <laughs> tissues. This was gifted to me by Amber and it's it says the Roberts family. 
and this is the R I got for Christmas. <laughs> and there's a succulent candle thing right there. But anyways, like um, holidays where I decorate a lot, there's usually a ton of stuff up there. <laughs> so I wanted more stuff to put on there. So I got this book gifted to me. And it's called Kawaii. I never know if I said that right. Crochet. And it's 40 cute uh, emigrant patterns. And it's separated by color. Kind of flip through real fast. Super cute. And I love the, the book. The book's just beautiful. And I love all the like little doodles. Oh, I can't see again. But like there's doodles around the pictures. But under the green, I showed that I'm going to make this. I don't have any bright greens like that. Which I'm going to try to um, find some. Because I didn't even realize I was missing that for my stash until... I was looking at this pattern, <laughs> but this pattern calls for, um, let's see here, calls for a smaller uh, C hook, but I always, when I make amigurumis, I always use an elf hook and worsted weight yarn. That's just my go-to. I always have it, so I'll grab it. So it doesn't matter if it calls for DK weight and a tiny hook or if it calls for something else, I always use worsted weight and an elf hook. <laughs> Sometimes I'll make uh, H hook amigurumis like uh, Michelle Estrada at Pixie Mary Crates. Uh, most of her patterns are made with worsted weight yarn and age hooks. I do try to do that, but my tension is so tight that I, I make a lot of holes. So I do, if, usually if I do her patterns and I don't like the way it's looking with an H, I will go back down to an F. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, here it is. <laughs> it doesn't look exactly like the one in the book. Let me get it back open again. He's kind of in the middle of the book, so it's hard to keep it open without it flopping everywhere. Okay, there's the book one. Let's just face it. And it's mine. So he's a peller colored green. And I feel like I messed up this white. The icing. Uh, it's definitely crooked. Like if the hat wasn't on there you could see that it's off center. But I mean it's icing. It could be glooping off to the side. But yeah. So this uh, color right here is called Red Heart Super Saver Tea Leaf. I'm pretty sure. And then this is just white. Red Heart Super Saver. I can't remember the name of this one. It's either Hunter Green or Dark Green. I never can remember. This is, and there's black too. You can kind of see it. Uh, bright yellow and spring green. He's got little safety eyes and a stitched on mouth and little cheeks. That is some, um, I can't remember if it's perfect pink or petal pink. <laughs> it's red heart scrap. Uh, yeah, so I think he's adorable. It's real glary today. It's real bright outside. But I think he turned out sweet. And he's been sitting over there also um, as decoration. These are little, um, like, What's that called? Like the trim of the icing? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, dollops of it. And it is made separately and sewn on. It look, kinda looks like a little octopus or something <laughs> with that. But uh, yeah, you just start with the bottom of the cake and you work your way up and you do some uh, tapestry color work right here. Really easy, just the two sh strips of white. And then you do close it off under here is with the green. The white piece is made separately and sewn on and then the hat is separate. But the hat is all one piece. And then you got to make the little clover separately and the little buckle. So I'm on there. I like this clover pattern. It worked up super quick. It's all in one um, magic ring. It's just one go, you know. <laughs> and I like that a lot. So yeah, I think he's adorable. There's where I joined. I hate them things. I know there's ways to fix that. But sometimes I just don't want to look into doing stuff the harder way. <laughs> I just go with the flow. So that's just the back. We'll just turn him around. And no one will ever know. <laughs> So he's going to be living up on the mantle until um, time for Easter stuff. And then he'll go in my big old box, which I actually need another box. I have two totes of Christmas decorations, two totes of Halloween decorations. And then I have one tote uh, with Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, uh, Americana type stuff. Like that all in it. And I'm going to have to get either a bigger tote or separate them out. <laughs> because I'm getting a lot of decorations. And I have a lot of wreaths like crammed down in there that I've crocheted over the years. So there's that, and it's from this book. I'll link it below. It, it was on my Amazon wish list, and the person who purchased it for me uh, purchased it through Amazon and sent it to me that way. And so I'll link the Amazon link below. And uh, yeah, it's a really awesome book. It's got some super cute patterns in it. Here's some of them. It's right here. Actually, one of these that's on this page, I'm going to be making tomorrow, I think for uh, a national holiday video. So there's that. <laughs> All right, one more finished object. So my last finished object I made yesterday, I was making it while I was recording um, the crochet and chat number 13. And uh, I, while well, I started making, I made, I crocheted it all earlier that day, the body parts, 
and then I was sewing it together uh, in that video yesterday. So I made it with some I Love This Yarn. I got it all like wound up on there. It's called uh, Blossomopolis and it's a print. Uh, it's I Love This Yarn print. Blossomopolis. <laughs> I didn't use very much at all. This, uh, I was starting to make a hat and out of the scraps and then I just changed my mind. I'm going to save it for Amigurumi. But anyways, here's what I made with it. <laughs> it's a little tiny bunny and I did make a tail. So it's super cute. I think the colors worked up really nice. I used a safety nose and some eyes. I do wish I had used larger safety eyes, but um, it's still cute. <laughs> this is a really cute pattern. It's supposed to be way bigger than this. The pattern is called, um, what is the pattern called? Classic Bunny, I think, by One Dog Wolf. Um, Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse has been making them lately. And you're supposed to make them with super bulky yarn and like a L hook, I think, a, a bigger hook. And um, I loved hers. I wanted to make a little bunny, but I wanted to make it the way I make it. So I just grabbed my worsted weight yarn and an L hook, like I, like I said, I always do. And this is the size it came out. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Isn't it cute? And I made just a pom-pom with one of my um, pom-pom makers. The little tiny one. I don't even know what size it is, but it's the little tiny one. <laughs> and uh, I think it turned out adorable. Now, I'm not going to give this to Jesse for Easter because he's not big into stuffed animals anymore. Uh, you know, he'll like look at them and then that's it. He won't ever play with them ever again. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if I'll put this in the Etsy shop or not. I don't, I think if I do, it won't be geared towards kids because I'm not the best pom-pom maker. So, um, sometimes, you know, if you pull on these, they could come out and I don't want a little kid to be pulling on it and, uh, putting them in its mouth and, uh, the little safety eyes and all, they're on there pretty good because I always test mine when I'm putting the backings on there to make sure it's the right backing I pull on them. And, um, but, you know, there's always a chance a kid could get something off. But it would be a cute little decoration or a gift for an older person or like to set in your office or something. <laughs> but yeah. So I might put this in the Etsy shop eventually whenever I get around to it. Because uh, I still haven't put those whales in there. But yeah. So he's so cute. But Angelia made, she made a couple different size ones. And they're just really cute. So I wanted to make one. I might make more. It was really easy. I made it, I crocheted it super quickly. The longest part was sewing it together. But um. I still like the way it turned out. It would probably set too if I had the flat surface to set it on. Because the legs and the tail like balance it out. I think it's so cute. And I finally remembered to use my safety noses. I have a ton of those and I always forget to actually use them. But I remember that time. The stinking sun is so glary. <laughs> yeah, so that's all my finished objects. Got a lot of cute um Amber Groomies done. And then my cardigan. So I'm excited about having my other cardigan done. I am supposed to make my mom one uh, whenever she gets me the yarn for it. And the only other whip I have going, my cart's back there, it's really messy, I need to clean it, is the scrap blanket. I need to work on that, but I'm not, you know, it's just like a side project. It doesn't even have a deadline. <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. I do have some more amigurumis that I wanna make. And like I said, there's one from this book that I'm gonna be making tomorrow, hopefully, for a um, national holiday crochet. I really love this book. I think I'm going to end up making a lot of these. Because just amigurumi foods and stuff are so cute. <laughs> There's little tiny Brussels sprouts in here that are so cute. Look at them. <laughs> They're so cute. And there's just everything. All kinds of little foods. There's popcorn and everything. And the little pencils. It's just a really pretty book. All the patterns are pretty. But yeah, so that's all my um, finished objects. My one whip is still sitting over here on the floor. <laughs> uh, I, I got so happy mail, but I'm going to show that in a day or two in a video. I'll try to do that tomorrow. It depends on how busy we're. I know tomorrow morning we're going to be real busy because we're going to be, we got to load this stuff up to take to my mom's. And then my mom and stepdad are going to go to our storage building and unload it all for us on their truck and bring it here. And then we're going to go through all that stuff and donate what we don't want and store in our closets here, the stuff that we're keeping. I'm going to go ahead and hop up here and get this edited. It's a lot longer. I might have to edit some of it out because it's already 30 minutes long. <laughs> and most of it's me talking about stuff. Uh, useless stuff. But yeah. So I will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow for a Happy Mail video. And then again. Because I, I know there's a national holiday coming up that I want to make an amigurumi for. And uh, I want to do some more shout out videos because I got a lot of um, people on a list. <laughs> and I need to start going through that list. Um. Yeah, so I don't know. I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys again. And uh, all the links be will be linked below for everything. And if the links don't work, you're just going to have to go. If it's a YouTube link, go to YouTube and type in whatever it is you're looking for. <laughs> uh, 
uh, the channel name, whatever. If it's an Etsy link, go to Etsy and again type in the shop name. Or if it's a pattern link, you'll just have to type it into Google. Because for some reason lately, uh, YouTube, some links work, some links don't when they're in the description box. And I don't know why. <laughs> when I'm on my laptop, everything works. I think it's just mobile devices that are having an issue. But, because um, when I'm on my laptop and someone tells me a link didn't work, I go and check it. And as soon as I click on it, it goes right to where it's supposed to go. So, I don't know what's happening. But, <laughs> if the links don't work, you're just going to have to type it in. Um, whichever platform you're trying to find it on. But, yeah. So, I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.